television screen is the retina of the mind's eye. Therefore, the television screen is part of the physical structure of the brain. Therefore, whatever appears on the television screen emerges as raw experience for those who watch it. Therefore, television is reality, and reality is less than television. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm the Spaceman. I've landed in your area tonight. I'm looking at a tin of Ashton Artisan's Blend. This is produced by Kohlhaas and Kopp. And as you can see on the tin, the description reads as follows. This full-bodied English mixture is carefully crafted for the experienced pipe smoker. Virginia and Turkish tobacco is harmonized with Syrian Latakia and a touch of Perique to create a taste that is resoundingly rich, spicy, and satisfying. And it has a unique, uh, some kind of artwork on there. And it has a little pipe at the bottom. I like that little pipe emblem. I don't know, it looks like to me like a guy's uh, running a um, one of those uh, wheels, you know, where you shape a, uh, a vase out of uh, clay. So, it has a little crown at the top. And I've taken some out. And I've left it here because it could stand to have a little bit of drying, but not a lot. Now, you know, this is saying on the tin that this contains uh, Syrian Latakia. Um, more than likely, it, it doesn't because uh, this blend was ordered in... Right there is the date when I received it, June 24, 2017, which I believe most of the Syrian Latakia by that time is pretty much gone. Uh, if Kohos and Kop is still putting uh, or was still putting Syrian Latakia or still had a supply left, uh, I certainly would highly doubt whether that it would still be in existence because I would think most of the people would have scarfed most of these up. Um, I've smoked a few bowls of this and uh, it's a decent blend. However, you know, without the uh, knowledge on the internet, the fact that a Syrian Latakia sort of has an incense note kind of uh, to it in, in the tin and not really knowing exactly what Syrian Latakia, the difference between Syrian and Cyprian I really can't tell uh, I would probably, I would venture to say that that uh, they are no longer using it in this blend why they haven't changed the label well that's, you know, somebody looking at the bottom line basically it costs more money uh, to uh, change out a label and to change out the print printing uh, uh, plates or whatever the you know to, to print these. So uh, anyway, let's look at the blend. And you know now this this has uh, Virginia, which you can see the bright 
the more lighter colored tobaccos, um, Turkish tobaccos, the black is the Latakia, some nice black Latakia, and a touch of Perique. Now there's also, when it did have Syrian Latakia, according to the Kohls and Kopp website, when that was the main ingredient, uh, it was rounded off with small amounts of Virginia, fire cured Kentucky, black Cavendish, and Perique. I'm not so sure whether the Cyprian would still be that way, but it is, it's possible. The pipe I chose tonight to smoke this in is my Nearup Bulldog. So let's get this pipe loaded up and I'll, I'll fire it up and start smoking it. So, I'm not really sure whether this tobacco is still available it may be available. I haven't uh, perused the online vendors to check and see, but I'd venture to say it probably is because I really don't think that what's in this is Syrian Latakia. Uh, I'm not an expert on Latakia, so, uh, but I do know this. I do know that Syrian Latakia is very rare and it was rare a couple of years ago when I ordered this tin, it's even more rare now. So, let me get a little uh, tin note here for you. By the way, I wanted to mention something that I did. I, I, I conducted an experiment with this tin. Uh, and I've done this with a few other tins of tobacco. Uh, I broke the seal, opened the tobacco, sp smoked a few pipefuls. I then took some fresh saver vacuum bags. I, I screwed the lid back on tight. Put it in a fresh saver vacuum bag. Completely sealed it with the vacuum uh, pump. Till it was completely till I sucked all the air out because I figured there'd probably be some air still left inside of here and maybe to help age the marry the tobaccos together. What I've discovered is after this sat for probably two months, when I opened up the bag, I noticed that I could not open this. I thought, well, maybe it's just a little bit tight from tightening it, so I took a uh, pipe tool and put it in here and I heard I heard the seal sound it actually I actually was able to reseal this tin by using that method just something there that I wanted to mention uh, is this something I would you know bank on doing with my tobaccos I don't know um, it certainly would be it's in the experimental stages with me and certainly would be in trial and error This has a very earthy, smoky, busty, classic Latakia note, kind of like um, uh, dry leaves in the fall, maybe, um, barbecue. I can smell a little bit of the uh, Virginias in this. Um, yeah, very sweet and smoky. Kind of a smoked kind of essence to the tin. Uh, so, with no further ado, let's light this pipe up and see what we can get. Hmm. 
in the beginning get a very mild, mellow kind of flavor. Very smoky. I can taste the spiciness from the Perique. I taste a teeny bit of a like a floral but not too much probably from the orientals hmm very smoky creamy oh, very good I wouldn't say it's a light bomb. It's not necessarily uh, what I would consider light a key forward, but it has enough light a key in it to make it in English. It it's a little bit of a, um, almost uh, tastes like a vanilla in this now that you know they said that it has black cavendish in it so that could be from the black cavendish but let me look and see um, I don't think there's a topping on this let me see here so topping now, there's no flavoring it's a ribbon cut And it is listed as an English. And like I said, it has... Well, here it says Black Cavendish, Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, Perique, Virginia. It's classic English, is what it is. Um, I guess it's very smoky, sweet, spicy, the break. It has a lot of Latakia strength to it, but it's also very spicy and creamy. So it's kind of like the tobaccos working together in this one. And I like it. Almost got a, like a little bit of a, with that sweet essence I'm getting from it. I also get like a little bit of a, maybe coffee bean kind of thing, flavor. Um, I think if you like Englishes, you probably will like this. I'm going to smoke this for a few minutes and I will, after I get down to the halfway mark of the bowl, I'll pop back to let you know what's going on. I'll be back in a few. I am back. I 
halfway down the bowl and um, kind of a vanilla flavor I get. Slightly vanilla, almost like a buttery kind of cakey kind of uh, flavor. The spiciness has ramped up a little bit. But it goes very well with the somewhat grassy and citrusy Virginias that are in this. Now, I've smoked a few pipefuls of this before, and as you get lower down in the chamber of your pipe, you're going to notice that it's going to get more of a pepper, pepperiness to it. A little bit harsher. All in all, I have to say it's um, a decent blend. I uh, wouldn't rate it really high for an English. It's kind of like a um, toned down nightcap, sort of say. Doesn't have as much of that vinegary, kind of strong, harsh flavors, flavorful profile that the nightcap has. But the tobaccos blend very well together. Um, when you get down further, you'll notice that, that they kind of join together a little bit more until a overall, with an overall flavor profile. Very good. Very good, but I'm not going to rate it uh, super, super high, but it's a very good English. I would recommend it. If you haven't, if you like Englishes, I would recommend this one. You also have to be careful not to puff on this too hard and too fast. It definitely, uh, when you get down to the bottom of the bowl, uh, at least I experience this, is my tobacco tends to, you know, it's closer to the draft hole. So I'm getting more of a direct hit of the uh, burning tobacco. So I tend to, you know, it tends to be a little on the hot side. So... You're going to want to let it cool off. Uh, at least I know in this pipe, it, you know, that's what happens. Once again, uh, I can't really tell if it's Syrian Latakia, but more than likely it is not the Syrian Latakia. Because, uh, like I said, it's very scarce. And the tins that you see now on the uh, websites are still listing the description in the description as containing Syrian Latakia. So, you know, it's a gentle, spicy English. Um... kind of like Nightcap's gentle counterpart, <laughs> if I might put it uh, mildly. So, I'm not going to smoke all the way down to the bowl because I already told you, to the heel of the bowl, because I already told you what will happen. It gets very harsh and very cigarette ashy, kind of like when it gets to the bottom, even if you run a pipe cleaner through it gets a little harsh. Uh, 
so very quickly when you start to get down to the maybe three quarter mark somewhere around there so uh try it out you know if it's still available artisans blend ashton and it's by cole halson cop uh, let's see where are they from i can't remember are they denmark cole halson cop seems like they're from denmark Ashton Pipe Tobacco, blended by hand in the European Union. And that's what it says on the back. So, uh, I thought I saw Denmark somewhere here. No, I guess not. That's probably on my pipe, right? In Europe. Not even sure of that because I can't really read that. Uh, you know, it says near up uh, structure, um, and I can't read the very small print unless I use a magnifying glass. And uh, that's what happens when you get older, right? So, um, if you were to ask me, you know, uh, is this one of my favorites? Um, no, it's not going to be on my favorite list. In fact, you know, I think I have two tins of this, and I think when this is smoked up, I'll, I may not reorder, only because it's not that I consider it a decent English blend. It's a good blend, but I have a lot of others that will blow it away. So, uh, no, it's probably not going to be a reorder. I'll probably just stick with uh, my other blends, like uh, Bengal Slices, which that's very good a very good strong Latakia blend nightcap uh, and Dunhill 965 my mixture 965 um, you know this is is this a replacement for 965 be honest with you I haven't smoked 965 in a while so I can't really remember it could be close to it, it seems like it might be but it's in that area somewhere. So uh, I'm going to, you know, a rating from 1 to 10. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give this a 6. So check it out. Um, you know, I don't feel much of a nick hit coming from it. Probably medium, I want to say. Uh, room note mm. I don't know I guess it would be tolerable let's see how they list it here tolerable yeah I was right They. it's tolerable um, strength is medium to strong taste is full so uh, check it out uh, if you would like a lot of Kia blends you may very well like this one so that's it. Uh, I'm giving it a six. And uh, I'll see you around the next corner in the next video. Cheers.